Before we start the main video, just right now, as I am editing this video, 5.8, check the map here. The USGS has just released us. These earthquakes keep getting bigger. We just today had a 5.5. So let's look into this. I am giving you all the latest details. Hey guys. Not only are the earthquakes getting more frequent in Ethiopia around the Fentala volcano, but also the Dauphin volcano, but they're getting higher in magnitude. So we had 5.0, 5.1, but now just today, another 5.5 was hitting the region and something else happened. Now a vent opened near the Dauphin volcano and it looked like something phreatic was coming out. I'm showing you the picture here in the background, but we have to talk about this even further. And this is my assistant Rudy that's helping me with this video today. I have to make myself small so that I can get Rudy into the picture. Um, guys, an earthquake measuring 5.2 on the Richter scale, followed by a 5.8, strikes the Awash Fentale region and the surrounding areas. At around 2 a.m. local time tonight, this is what the USGS, the United States Geological Survey, is reporting and it's also being reported in the newspaper of the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa is reporting this as well. So many residents in the region again felt the tremors. They reported this. So this indicates that this quake was quite widely spreading and fell. So we're still waiting for more reports to come in. And this earthquake is the strongest that was recorded in the recent days. Although they kept coming every day while we were speaking, while I was making my other videos about Fentale, 4.8, 4.9, 5.1, 5.0, lots of in the high four ranges. We're having a series of seismic events, of seismic earthquakes that are occurring mainly in the Awash Fentale area. But you see on the map, the earthquakes are quite a little bit widespread between the Dauphin volcano and the Fentale volcano. So what is going on? Do we have to await an eruption of the Dauphin volcano and the Fentale or both or what is going on. And another thing, guys, if you've seen one of my last videos, I said that the scientists are worried about the Grand Renaissance Dam that was just finished in 2020, the longest, the largest dam in Africa, 1,800 meters. So scientists said, well, if we see earthquakes in the six magnitude six range, that could be critical because the dam is also filled to maximum capacity. And now we have a 5.8. And many of you say, oh, this is so far away. Yeah, it's 600 kilometers away from Fentala, but it seems to affect that region. So many commented, and, and I think many of these people that commented haven't even watched the video. Um, and again, I'm still an Egyptian spy and paid by the Egyptian government. These comments still keep coming. So uh, I think I'm, I'm not deleting them, guys. I'm leaving them because it's kind of entertaining. I don't know what that is. It's just some trolls not even watching the video. Um, if the Egyptian government wants to pay me for reporting about a volcano, um, contact me. I'll give you my account number. I need a lot of money right now because my dog is sick and I don't know how to pay for his vet bills. <laughs> so <laughs> greatly appreciated, but it will not influence what I'm reporting. I tell you this Egyptian government, right? So you, you can buy what I'm reporting, but if you want to support this channel, it's greatly appreciated. So to all of you guys who comment that I am paid by the Egyptians, maybe you can make that connection for me. So 
This earthquake that we're seeing there is the strongest that has been recorded in the recent days during this earthquake swarm that we have seen there. And the Grand Renaissance Dam is not the only dam that's at risk here. We have just seen the reports yesterday that were coming from the Ethiopian officials. There's the Kesson Dam that is basically right there where we have the Fentala area. And now Rudy's falling asleep again. Guys, I don't know what to do about this. He's supposed to be my assistant right that's that's how I pay him in food Rudy but I, I think he's going on strike because he didn't have his food yet um, and what you hear the snoring that's my sick dog Apollo right underneath me um, that's the one that needs the radiation therapy that's why I'm in an RV that's why I'm in the US and that's why uh, I need the Egyptian government to pay for my vet bills no jokes aside guys this is really serious what's going on there in Ethiopia so the Awash Fentala area you see it here on the map and then you see a little bit further there's the Dolphin Volcano um, and there was like, you could say, a minor volcanic eruption, not a magmatic eruption, was reported today in the Dulesa Voreda Afar region. Many say, oh, is the two tectonic plates separating from each other? Yes, that's the case. It's basically tearing the area apart. So these could be tectonic earthquakes that also by tearing these tectonic plates apart, it's making way for magma to reach the surface. So that tectonic movement could indeed increase the likelihood of volcanic eruptions and I said it yesterday, a significant, significant land rise has been observed in this area since September. And that's why authorities started evacuating around 700 people as a precaution. So it's official now. But after the earthquakes in the last two days already, people on their own started to leave the area just basically leaving everything behind and fleeing to other areas because of the rumbling and i've showed it to you in my other videos cracks were opening the concrete was cracking deep cracks that kept widening with every earthquake way over 50 homes have collapsed uh at the moment because you have to imagine woody wake up this is important um you have to imagine one high earthquake after the other, 4.7, 4.9, 5.0, 4.8, 4.9, and up to 10 per day in this range, and probably way more in the micro seismic area. But that is something that cannot be measured because there are no seismic stations in place that could monitor this area. So it's only the USGS, what they can measure with their international measuring systems, they can measure the big ones, but there's probably way way more and just as we speak another one just hit in the same area as you can see here in this picture and that can also be concluded from reports that we hear from the locals because they say it keeps rumbling continuously basically so big one smaller ones big one smaller ones hoodie right so authorities are calling to the people and they say you have to have increased vigilance right because we've we've got tens of thousands of people residing in the very very high risk zone but that area is more widespread people feel it in the capital of ethiopia in Addis Ababa. we're talking about millions of people here right so over like 10 to 20,000 people that are in the high risk zones in this area, they might need to evacuate. They might need a, a very, very quick evacuation if there is a volcanic eruption. Some of them have already left because of the trembling and these cracks that have opened, but many, many are staying because this is their livelihood there. So, but now let's talk about what the volcano has spit out. It has opened a vent, but is that Fentale or is that the Dolphin Volcano? A powerful, powerful vent has opened at the Dolphin Volcano while this seismic crisis is going on and hitting the Awash and Afar region in Ethiopia. So we already had 
event like this a few weeks back i've showed you the video but now we have a new vent but not at fentala at the dolphin volcano and i told you it's like this area the the critical area is basically in between both volcanoes in the afar region of ethiopia so powerful powerful jets of steam and mud and rocks have been pushed out spit out by this vent just today and you know this comes with these high earthquakes with the high 5.5 earthquakes so what is going on is magma rising to the surface where is it rising i mean we know that it's rising because of that land rise that has been measured more than 30 centimeters already that's about when rudy stands up tall that's his height so that's why the earthquakes have intensified since december 22nd basically and that's why the experts are saying we are raising the concerns that we could see a volcanic eruption and that will be the first on record in this area because Fentale has been dormant for 200 years, guys. That's, that's something, this is a volcano waking up. So we have no records what this volcano can do. So the Dolphin Volcano is located in the Duletsha districts, district of Ethiopia's Afar region. We've talked about this in my previous video because lots of people in the Duletsha area were highly affected by these earthquakes the last few days. They were shaken, they were frightened, they were leaving their homes and were evacuating. But now we've got this vent that is releasing a mix of mud gas, volcanic gases and rocks and that and because of that we can assume that we see an escalation in this crisis that's what scientists are calling it a ongoing volcanic and seismic crisis and many scientists are saying well the seismic crisis is the volcanic crisis these earthquakes are a result of the magmatic activity underground a magma chamber filling up lifting up the surface making the rocks brittle and causing these earthquakes um but now where we've seen this vent this is the dolphin volcano what is the deal with this guy So the Dauphin volcano, also known as the Dauphin volcano, we've got the same with Fantale, Fentale. It's a rhyolithic shield volcano that is located in Ethiopia's Awash National Park. Beautiful area. It rises approximately 450 meters above the Awash Plain in the northern main Ethiopian rift. That rift valley that basically is tearing two continents apart where we see all these volcanoes. You see it here on that map. So that is a volcano that also have multiple multiple cinder cones along basically a line a north-south line that is 10 kilometers long and uh, we already see at the northern cones that there is a strong fumarolic activity. Fumaroles, these steam vents that are releasing hot steam, hot volcanic gases. If you watch my channel on a regular basis, you know, we've seen that in uh, Campi Flegri, in the most active caldera, the Solfatara, where we have the magma chamber underneath and where the risk for a volcanic eruption is increasing. So we also have these fumaroles here, signs of volcanic activity, something's heating up, the steam. And also Dolphin is not active, It's is it waking up? Because Dolphin's eruptions occurred during the Holocene epoch, right? Not recently. Um, but as I just said, today, 2025, the Dolphin volcano has showed renewed activity, emitting smoke and causing concern amongst local residents. I mean, if you see the video, it's obvious, right? So Dolphin and Fentale two volcanoes are waking up wow that is not good guys 
Hundreds of people, as I said, were already evacuated from this immediate area as a precaution. And also the Ethiopian Geological Institute has reported the expulsion of steam and debris from that volcano. So they have confirmed it. And how can you not confirm that the videos there? We see it, right? So um, what about the Ethiopian Disaster Risk Management Commission? They have not yet confirmed this eruption although it's there right it's on video we don't need them to confirm that um and this volcanic activity follows several weeks of these earthquake swarms in the region and they getting larger now 5.5 how large are they going to get the population around this dolphin volcano within a five kilometer radius about 2,000 people within a 10 kilometer radius roughly 13,000 people within 30 kilometer radius roughly 55,000 people and within a hundred kilometer radius almost 3 million people so that's what we're talking about equally as bad as Fentalis should there be a larger eruption and here on this map again you see the epicenter of that earthquake they're also calling the Dolphin Volcano Smoking Mountain because of these fumaroles, because it's releasing steam, you can see it. So guys, we really have to get that into our heads. We really have to make that clear that Ethiopia was rocked by a record number of earthquakes just in the last 24 hours. So over 10 earthquakes in the large scale, raising fears of reoccurring tremors, of larger tremors. But also, again, these are only the large earthquakes that the USGS is able to detect because there is no seismic stations in place that could detect the smaller ones. We probably have hundreds, maybe thousands of more earthquakes. We can only measure the big ones and the number of big ones per day is accelerating. So residents are reporting continuous tremors in the capital area in the Awash region and that hints that there's probably way way more earthquakes than we can tell and that's why this is so alarming so now the 5.5 magnitude quake and a larger one could be even more damaging over 50 homes already damaged and guys we don't know Will Fentale erupt from the crater? Will the Dolphin Volcano erupt from the crater? They're both basically waking up. Will they both erupt simultaneously? There is a chance that we could see a fissure eruption between both volcanoes, but not as small as we see them in, in Iceland or in Hawaii. Iceland, 1.9 kilometers, 4.5 kilometers. This could be way longer, way wider, way bigger, maybe between the two volcanoes, maybe in these areas where we have seen these phreatic explosions, these vents coming out, blowing out mud, steam and, and, and rocks maybe it's going on between there we don't know because there is not that much research about this area and in this area and not that many measuring stations and not that many or no records of previous eruptions in the last few decades because there were none these volcanoes are waking up so that's why um the officials are warning the residents be on alert but of what where right this is the difficult task there. So guys, of course, I will keep you updated about this seismic crisis, how they call it. I would add volcanic crisis because the seismic activity is in the mind of most scientists, a result from the volcanic crisis. And guys, since the Egyptian government is probably not going to pay my monstrous vet bill that I don't know how to pay yet for Apollo, if you like this video and if you want to support this channel and right now only my dog with what you're supporting, um, please go to my buymeacoffee.com website slash silky. The link is in the description of this video and buy us a coffee or two. Uh, it helps greatly. Thanks so much for that. And of course, thanks for your supers that you keep sending us here on YouTube. Um, we're very, very grateful for that. And in the name of Apollo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, 
Share this video with your friends. Please leave it a like so that the algorithm pushes it out and so that more people get aware of what's going on in Ethiopia. There will be an update soon, I promise. And in the meantime, check out my other videos. Interesting stuff going on all over the world. It's rumbling, um, volcanoes, earthquakes, landslides and stuff like this. So you're on the right channel if you're interested in that. I see you very, very soon. Have a great start in the new year. Bye-bye.